How are you doing today, sirs and mess? I hope you were doing good to go over the glory. It's another opportunity and for Christ Gospel messages. And by the grace of God, day number three of our Christmas series messages of 2022. Tomorrow's Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas to go over the glory. I just I give glory to God that yes, we have this joy today joy today we receive that 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 we could see and 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 view the wonders of god's love as we we got on day number one of this our christmas service messages the wonders of god that yes we could we could see the manifestation of god's wonders how god made money showed us that love that christ should be born for for me and for you for us all for all the creatures of God and God in severance not allowing King Herod to, 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 to not allowing his plan to be fulfilled on the Messiah of the world as we got in that message the wonders of God but today by the grace of God we're gonna be going into the message titled before we go into the title, let's pray and commit the, the word into the end of the Lord that the Lord should prepare us that we might be abundantly blessed by His word and His grace. Father, we thank you, we bless you for this day, for this joy uh, to celebrate your, the wonders of your love to us, the, 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 revealing that love to us, giving up your only begotten Son for our sake. Lord, we are grateful. We pray as we continue in your word today, understanding and unveiling the, 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 that love, the expression and demonstration of your love and your selflessness. Even of you, Christ Jesus, I pray that you will give us the art of understanding. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you, sis, and God bless you, man. Today, we're going to be talking about the message titled, He Chose to Suffer. He Chose to Suffer. Not only that we experienced, we, we saw the wonders of God's love giving up His only begotten Son to come die for us. But this is only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, now coming, He Himself understanding the purpose of His of His mission on earth, understanding the reason why He's on earth, knew about the the the, the purpose, the mission that He had to actually suffer, He had to actually die for the creatures of God. He knew. But he had that choice. He was selfless enough and he made that choice to actually deliberately suffer. He deliberately went through the pains and difficulties. He deliberately went through sorrows and shame just because of you and I. Jesus Christ chose to suffer. There's so many ways, a, a little picture of what Jesus did for us. It's, it's also looking at our parents. Most parents deny themselves of food, just to pick that example of food, denying themselves of food just because, uh, to, for the sake of being able to provide for their own children, for the children to be able to have something healthy to eat. And it is actually expected of us now as children for such an attitude towards us, a, a, a parent denying his or herself just because of us. It is expected of us that we also show some appreciation and gratitude and take care of such parents. More is now about the picture of our Lord Jesus Christ choosing to suffer. Yes, 
coming through the love of God. You know, sometimes God might let some people come your way and like, oh, thank you, thank you so much. But they, they went through some, they denied themselves. Patricia, let's, let's just talk about somebody, so, uh, somebody gave you some amount of money to, to establish your business. Wow. And you, let's even actually paint it to the fact that, oh, you just met this person for the first time and this person was, was just looking at you like, ah, what do you need? You need money to start your business? Okay, take this money. Wow, this is God's wonders and you were so grateful, you are so happy and you even gave thanks and giving glory to the Most High God. This person, definitely, this person can choose to invest that money in something else or do something else with the money. This person had to deny his herself to give you that money. So God gave us his love, showed us his love by giving up his only begotten son. This is love also denied himself. The person should have used the money for something else, but we we had that choice, we had that option and gave you a stranger, a stranger, the money. The creatures of God, as we saw in the in the in the wonders of God's love, the creatures of God, we are in bondage of sin. We are in difficulties. We are having challenges to please the Most High God. They have to continuously go for the sacrifice. They couldn't communicate directly to God. They have to always go through the priest. They, 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 they are actually suffering. They needed help. They needed someone to rescue them. And the wonders of God's love was revealed that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever, whosoever, whosoever believeth in Him, whosoever trust in Him, would not perish but have everlasting life. This is just a word of encouragement that yes, we should appreciate the love of God. We should be grateful for what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us. We should appreciate his selflessness towards us. The Bible made us to understand. It says that, yes, if you love me, you need to recognize if you appreciate what I've done for you. I chose to suffer for you. If you appreciate it, you need to obey my commandments. And more, more also is for you to also show your love. Yeah, like our Heavenly Father sent me to come. You need to understand that thou shall love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. You need to, it's not enough for you to appreciate me suffering for you, but it, you need to also recognize our Heavenly Father, our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord be the name. You need to recognize our Heavenly Father, you need to appreciate His love because He, he, he actually sent me to come die for you. Praise the Lord. May the Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. We need to be grateful. We need to appreciate, we need to be grateful for the Lord, our God, choosing to die for us on the cross of Calvary. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I actually want us to actually pray and say, appreciate the, the, the fact that the Lord chose to suffer for us. The Lord Jesus, thank you for choosing to suffer for me. Lord, I thank you for choosing to suffer for me. Prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord, our God, I thank you. Thank you, O oh Lord, for choosing to suffer for me. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I worship you and I exalt your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for choosing to suffer for me. Thank you, Almighty God. Lord, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Finally, we're also going to appreciate the love of God, our Heavenly Father. That Heavenly Father, thank you.
for loving, for showing, for showing me your love to send your only begotten son. Heavenly Father, thank you for showing me your love, demonstrating your love towards me. Prayer in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, I thank you for demonstrating your love towards me. I thank you for demonstrating your love towards us. Lord, I thank you. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for demonstrating your love towards us. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for demonstrating your love towards us. Say then unto us your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for choosing to suffer for us that we might be saved and be delivered from the bondage of sin. We give you all the glory, Holy God, and we say thank you forever. Thank you for coming to suffer for us and choosing to suffer for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To God be the glory, to God be the glory. Congratulations to you, says and mess. Congratulations, congratulations. Jesus Christ chose to suffer. Let us continue to appreciate Him by obey, being obedient to His commandment. If you love me, keep my commandments. And thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. This is the first commandment. God bless you all and God be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas once again. Merry Christmas. I wish you Merry Christmas. And God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you and be with you in Jesus name. Take care right now. Look forward to our um, is, um Message summary, message summary uh, for the month of November, uh, this coming Wednesday, and likewise, I look forward to next Saturday as well, and God bless you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance, God bless you. This remains, I'm for Christ's gospel messages. See you next time. God bless.